Now, what's everybody doing down here at the train station? Well, uh, Congressman Brown's um, uh, uh, Korean Express to D.C. Uh, we've got uh, between Orlando and, and Jacksonville about 300, uh, four train cars headed up for the. Uh, so when you say you have four train cars, that, so that's going to be only the people who be sitting in there. That is being? correct. So they right. almost like reserve cars for us. Wow. So now, have you done this before? Uh, yes. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. We we did it in um, 2009 for the first inauguration, and actually the congresswoman does a trip up to. Uh, Washington every other stitch was to come up and see her being sworn in. I see. But so, those usually are buses. Uh-huh. So now the people who come, I mean, who are most of your places? These are primarily are constituents of uh, Congressman Brown's, uh -huh. formerly Congressional District 3, now Congressional District 5. Uh-huh. So these are people from Orlando and where Absolutely. else? Absolutely. Uh, primarily um, um, Orange County, Seminole County, uh, Lake County. We no longer have Volusia County in our congressional district. Uh -huh. I do know a couple of these folks are actually are from um, Volusia County. So I see you have. I saw a couple Florida of. Area. I saw a couple of elected officials, a former elected officials. Absolutely. What kind of people are participating? Yeah, absolutely. Um, folks who want to go up and take part in this historic uh, inaugural uh, celebration. Uh, we do have, like you said, some elected officials, some former elected officials, uh, city employees, government employees. Uh, folks who just want to go up and take part in this uh, historic event. Fantastic. This is a very historical event. And this is the second term of our president, Barack Obama. And to be there for the first time and to be there now in his second term, it's a great opportunity. And so many of us are here to show support for our president and for our country. Now, did you ever think that you would spend a day like today, a day back in, you know, back in 2008 and 2009? I mean, did you ever think you'd see something like this? No, I didn't ever think I would ever see a black president of the United States of America. You know, I thank God for people like President Carter, President Clinton, who have really been uh, great leaders for our country. And now to come with uh, President Barack Obama means a great thing for us. And we are moving forward, and our economy is even getting better and stronger, all because of his leadership. And we're hoping that there is a great relationship between Congress and the president, because it's all about the American people. Now, you, we saw it 2008. Did you think you'd see it happen again in 2012? It, it was it was. It was difficult at first. I've always believed that he would win his second term, but you know, politics, campaigning, is something else, and for him to overcome all of that and still stay steadfast, mm -hmm. great support from his wife, great support from other members of the party, the vice president, and his wife. So we're very thankful that, that we are here to see his second term because. He deserves it. Yeah, so I mean, you you've seen a lot of things, both in your political career and your professional career. As, as you know, as, as a police officer, you've seen both sides of, of of the street. So, are we making progress in this country? We are making progress, but what we've got to do is to stop pointing fingers and saying one party can do it better. Because we elect the president, whether we elect President Barack Obama or whether we elect President George Bush. Once they enter that office, we have to respect them in that office and work together as a country to solve a lot of the problems that we might be having within our country. We are a great country, and the world still looks to the United States. And what we have to do is show the world that we can work together and that we can get along. Yeah. Hey. Here it comes. Yep, it's coming. Thank you.